You have a problem. <laughs> About to go on a triple date with a bunch of different couples. Well, two other couples, but, but that's a worry. bunch for us. Don't worry though, because they're all the same uh, race mixing. <laughs> that's true. Okay. We have all the same race mixing going on. One white guy paired with one Asian or half Asian yes. is the theme of tonight's that's party. Correct. That's great. I love you. Oh, I love you too. P.S. I almost died today. Steve saved my life. I sliced my finger open on these fucking knives. And she acted like she almost died. I, because that's how Nikki's Because I really almost died. I might still die. I no, might still yeah, die. Exactly. She's a 100% hypochondriac. I might be a hypochondriac though. I'm too scared to get diagnosed. That's a hypochondriac. You're... <laughs> 100% hy hypochondriac. I am anti hypochondriac, by the way, so if you have it personally. That's true. I'm anti. Steve you. will not go to the hospital even when he needs to go to the hospital or the yeah. doctor or anything. He yeah. will. Go I'm the opposite. I'm like, I'll be fine. You know, you know why? Because my grandfather, uh, when he was admitted to the hospital, when he was dying of kidney failure, uh, they said that he had been walking around for six months with three broken ribs. Jesus. Uh, so. It doesn't mean you should do that. Are you See? dying? Well, even if you are dying, don't go to the hospital. All right, first to admit, giant pussy, me. Say something. I like your giant pussy. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ew. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I'm good. All right, we're going to dinner. Probably we'll do it. We're going to bring this. White guy, white class. guy, white guy, white guy. <laughs> Asian, <laughs> Asian. <laughs> Asian. Yep. <laughs> good afternoon. A couple weeks ago when I was doing my taxes, I promised myself that if I got my taxes done as a reward, I'd let myself go shopping. Then I got my taxes done and I didn't go shopping. That's not a very nice thing to do to yourself. If you promise yourself something, you should follow through on your promises. So I'm going on a shopping spree. I'm giving myself a $100 budget and 25 of those dollars are on a gift card. So a $75 shopping spree. I think I've mentioned this before in some of my vlogs where I had to get my computer fixed. Whenever I have to give a ridiculous amount of money to a thing that's not fun, such as getting your computer repaired, or such as giving the federal government a bunch of money and not getting anything back. Oh, I'm sorry, we get social security, right? Oh good, oh, okay, cool, never mind, it's for something, never mind, I'm, I'm an asshole. I feel like whenever I have to spend that much money on something, I need to go shopping and get something that's fun. So I'm doing that, America. <laughs> You have a problem. Oh, good evening. It's date night 2016. Yo. Yo. And I'm taking Steve to poetry. You excited? More than you'll ever know. Once you propose, it's like you're already a husband. Oh, it's this like is husband to, things. I feel like I'm going to Nutcracker right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm taking you to the ballet. Oh, it'll be fun. I'm so excited. Because you're taking me to Batman Superman, so. That's true. Then we're even. That's true. I'm, that's the that's, deal. That's the man. That's the man ballet. Although yeah. I heard it's shitty, but yeah, two dudes fight you know, each other. We'll see. Uh, I think our Uber's here. It's in Hollywood. We could live it up tonight. Listen to some music of poetry. They sell yoga clothes, candles, and wine here. Yeah, it is. Look at it, honey. Boy smells. Boy smells. to the YouTube space right now. There's a writer's workshop, a writer's lab, three day, all day, every day thing. It's very top secret, but I will show you, but don't tell anyone because it's very top secret. It's just top secret. It's top secret. I think there's like 10 other creators there too. It's the same group of us that were in Sundance a couple months ago. This was like what it was all leading up to. We all wrote 
pilots for episodic series that may or may not get produced. We don't know yet. I'm super excited because this is what I've been working on when I said that I was gonna stop making videos five days a week because I had to work on something. This is what I've been working on. Hopefully the series does get made and you guys get to see the series and I'm not just writing it to write it. Although that's been really liberating and fun and inspire and re-inspiring. I'm gonna be open with you guys. This year's been like, uh, a really I'm going through an ebb right now this year you know you go through ebbs and flows in life I'm totally in an ebb and I hate it I hate the ebbs but I know that you need them to have the flows so they are necessary but like look look at how much ebb I've been so so much ebb has been happening I like flow so much better like flow is my favorite Flo and I are like this. Me and Eb are just like, ah, you're, I guess you have to be here. I will tolerate you, but I don't like you. That's how I feel about Eb. <laughs> we're late, but we're just in time for lunch. So are we late? Um, I don't, I don't think so. Evening now, and I didn't vlog all day. And I'm in a hotel. I meant to vlog. I really, truly did. Believe me, I did. I was in a, the workshop all day. So they were putting up a lot of YouTubers that were from New York in this hotel, and a couple LA YouTubers that live on the East Side. Which, if you're if you don't live for, in LA, you think like, oh, it's all one big city, but it's like a big city. So like, if you're in one part of LA, it could take you two hours to get to another part of LA. And so that's kind of the situation. And if I wanted to make it by the time they wanted me to be here tomorrow, I would have had to leave tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and be in traffic for two hours, almost two hours, probably two hours. So I asked them if I could stay at the hotel that's like five minutes from YouTube space. And they said yes. And so here it is. And ask and it is given in life. Just ask for what you want. and. The worst that you could be told is no, and then your plan doesn't change anyway. You might as well just ask, I think is the lesson from today. Hi, good morning. Check it out, check it out, check it out. <gasps> cool, a balcony. Wish I had a balcony in our apartment. <laughs> when you ask your fiance to bring you an outfit, he will bring you a tourist shirt. Hey. <laughs> but I, I am but I am thankful. I or a soy sauce shirt. Thank you. But I am thankful. To him my life is owed. Excuse me. He brought me all my toiletries and he was very sweet. He's a very sweet man. I'm marrying the man of my dreams. Did I get every line in the script? Yeah, well, you gotta say that you love when you're going to love him. I'm gonna always love him and, and cherish him and hold him. He, he is a perfect hairline. And he has a perfect hairline. That was good. Yeah. Thank you. Just cut out, just cut out my voice because you can kind of hear my voice when I'm. Oh yeah, I'll edit out your voice. Okay, thanks. It'll just sound like I came up with that. <laughs> this is the face of someone who did not have to deal with LA traffic this morning. So happy. Um, they're working. What's up, guys? You guys are tuned in and locked down. Make sure you guys do the tune in, lock it down, and make sure it's locked in and tuned up. You just made everyone unsubscribe. Hey, I just want to let you know that we're eating again. Hey, guys. Make sure you. Don't don't forget to give it a give it a boom and hit it with a pow. Don't do, don't let me know. Just lost like five to more subscribers. I feel like if you look like a farmer, then your food tastes more 